what is going on guys what's going on okay i'm sorry your girl was gone i needed to take a break i'm in school so it's a lot going on right now um but don't worry about that all right <laughs> if you guys haven't already please like comment subscribe all right this reading is going to be for my pisces sun moon rising venus pisces do understand that energy is fluid time is fluid put yourself where you see fit take what resonates leave what don't okay as i was shuffling these moonology cards this fell out conclusions are within reach okay and and right now i'm hearing the song by leah one in a million but I, for for some of you guys, it does not have to do with love. For some of you guys, it has something to do with um some some form of foundation. It could be work. It could be money. Okay, it could be like a house situation. It could just be um even like a potential business situation. But conclusions are within reach, so you are gonna be getting something. Um, something is coming. Yeah, look, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Something is coming to an end. Some sort of stagnation. Some sort of hesitation you understand um but yes yeah, something is coming within reach okay and this and this i feel like the answers okay the answers some some of you guys are looking for answers they are within you okay it's 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 inside you it's something within okay something to have to do within it's 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 coming emotions are running high i'm telling you it's something with your emotions you have don't let pride get in your way okay so i, de I definitely sense that like maybe your emotions could be like some sort of barrier to you like uh prevents you from seeing things very clearly and i know sometimes us pisces wow wow look at these cards they're showing face sometimes our our emotions and our pride blind us from seeing the clear vision you understand and you have you are good enough full moon and virgo Look at the bigger picture. I'm telling you, it's something with your vision. You have two Leo cards already. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo. Or you could have heavy Leo in your birth chart, maybe Sag or Virgo. And it, it could have a lot to do with some, for, some sort of foundation, okay? Because if I'm not mistaken, Leo, they you know, as a lion, they keep their eyes on the prize. Sagittarius is about shooting this shot, not missing it. And Virgos, they're definitely about being um, perfectionist and making sure they do things right. So it has something to do with that. And what do you need to release? I'm telling you. So these emotions, your pride, your ego, um, overthinking, okay? Overthinking could definitely be blinding you. And again, another Sagittarius card, luck is on your side. You could definitely have heavy Sagittarius energy um, around you. Maybe some of you guys have that in your birth chart. Maybe some of you guys have Leo, maybe Virgo in your birth chart. Oh, you could be dealing with any one of these signs. Okay? Yeah, it's one in a million, right? And it it's not necessarily about love. It could be about love. And I feel like um, this is for very few. That this is someone else's energy all up in your energy where they're coming to realize how they see you and what they messed up on you know they they have something that they need to release before they can come towards you and for others of you guys luck is on your side that one in a million song by Aaliyah in my head go play the lot all right okay what am i saying there's definitely someone that's coming towards you right and this person does not know how to look they the fool so it is like a new beginning but there's these barriers there's these barriers that's preventing this person that's stopping this energy it's 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 they have to, i feel like this person has to learn a lesson before they can come okay very slow moving very slow they see you from a far way okay and this is a love interest this person see you you probably know who they are they know who you are okay some of you guys could be getting like some signs and synchronicity some of you guys could be seeing birds um some of you guys could love birds or you know stop look at flowers love flowers something like that this person could have seen you taking a picture of a flower you know 
but and i don't know why i'm seeing like skating like somebody could probably love to skate but yeah this wow you see it's a rainbow back there and the rainbow in here so yeah it's like it's like this person this person has some uh loose ends that they need to tie up before they come to you okay so i definitely sense this is gonna be a while this could ha this person might not even come to you until next year every season okay and for some of you guys this year scorpio season maybe even during the summertime something is significant about the summertime it being hot but yeah and 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 this if this is like a business situation um you guys definitely feel tired you definitely feel like you have invested so much time and things is moving so slow what's the energy about this business wow i love it yeah i love it okay so some of you guys okay that's the reason you you guys um do have a lot going on when it comes to your business right um, some of you guys could be doing like two things at once or just have your hand in a lot of different areas that is really hard to con not I'm not gonna say it's hard to con you can't really concentrate on one when you're trying to do so many things at once some of you guys it's not even about even having more than one business it's just that some of you guys have families some of you guys have a relationship and they're trying to do this you know some of you guys could be going to school like me and then trying to do something else so it's a lot you know piling into one but it is, I feel like it is success, okay? King of Pentacles, he's wearing his business suit. You guys are going to be very satisfied because the Three of Swords is in reverse. So that's really giving me like, you don't even have to worry. You don't even have to worry. You don't have to worry about the outcome of this. Just keep working, just keep striving, just keep moving towards it, um, what you want to do yeah some of you guys um there is some sort of relationship here too that i see that um that could be need healing or um some of you guys um are healing a situ a, a relationship it could be between um another water sign maybe another earth sign here maybe even a aquarius uh possibly a gemini too but what i'm seeing is that there is um it was something that came in between you and this other person okay and this is going to be healed this situation is going to be healed if some of you guys is looking for that outcome and for others of you guys this could be uh someone that you went into business with and maybe things didn't work out before because you guys fell out it's going to be healing and some of you this is just a friendship that's going to be healing okay i see a lot of communication with the knight of swords a lot of communication and a lot of truths being spoken um because there weren't truths in the past okay there weren't truths in the past there was a lot of lies in the past and in order for this to move forward and heal both parties needs to be truthful and i see both parties weren't truthful let me get you a gem card paradise okay so one, one um if i'm not mistaken this is virgos was it virgo i don't know if, no not virgo um i think september gemstone was it september or august i don't know if someone told me this though but it's efforts and joy and happiness okay so a virgo could be significant um yeah or august september could be significant like i said the summertime definitely significant here and we also have alexandrite energy power and passion so yeah some of you guys definitely could have been lacking a lot of you know going through a period of feeling drained and needing to rest and let me tell you something if i listen i already know it's one thing being physically tired okay there's another thing when you're spiritually spiritually tired that is a drainage and there's another thing when your soul is tired i feel like somebody's soul was tired somebody had to take a big break from the world like is and then now everything is coming back okay all that energy and i definitely feel like this is just a side note for someone here that someone could have been like siphoning your energy you know trying to like take your energy from you 
so that you won't be happy so that you won't have the energy to do whatever it is that you're doing and i feel like even though this person was trying to take the energy from you somehow you still was able to complete something here complete continue keep going like they just couldn't stop you and i feel like this person is really mm -hmm. I, I see why the tower came out in reverse what they was trying to do it just didn't do and you keep going and now this person is getting tired from all that they they all everything they keep putting on you you just kept going whether you was tired you kept going no matter what now this person is tired of trying to stop you in your tracks and um something is coming back okay tenfold do you do you hear me at the bottom we have opal happiness faithfulness and loyalty again and this is for someone who could be in a relationship um do expect that after a moment of truth that you guys are going to be loyal to each other you guys are going to have faith in this relationship some of you guys could have had lost faith in this relationship you feel like this relationship has stole so much of your happiness or just so much of your your energy and it's returning okay the and, and i'm talking to the ones who are already in a relationship it's returning you guys are going to be feeling more happy together you guys are going to be feeling like you belong to one another you guys are going to be feeling because I, I feel like there's someone who could have been feeling like that they they just couldn't continue with with um the person that you've been with you felt like you couldn't continue but i see i see it happening for you okay we have aromatherapy I'm t this is definitely giving me your energy okay energy coming back revitalizing okay and definitely be mindful of the energy that you keep around you because that the, the it but i see good energy around you and some of you guys already know i don't even have to tell you you know got you got your necklace on your third eye your crown chakra is is is, is awakening it's flourishing it's blossoming i should really say and it's like you you just you just know okay some of you guys you could have been going through that you could have been going through sometimes when you're um when your spiritual side is evolving that's it's it, it's it, it, it's like a low energy you know some of you guys just you you're in bed you're resting you understand just so that an ev evolution can happen okay so that you guys could evolve stronger bigger you understand what i'm saying and we also have abundance planning some of you guys could definitely be pregnant right now or um it could really be that some of you guys are making plans some of you guys are doing a lot okay and at the bottom look we have dream journal are you sleeping so yeah some of you guys could have been feeling like you've been sleeping longer and maybe some of you guys you need to get some sleep because you're just so focused on the future i see someone it's listen be careful because i'm sensing like anxiety and it's like that anxiety come from worrying too much about the future do not worry okay spirit wants you to know do not worry that they have you that they have your back okay they're gonna make sure that you're able to accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish it might happen in increments you know and um little by little but it's happening you have to trust the process okay let let go and let god let go and let god okay somebody could be 31 somebody could have like a 13 year old kid three one so my birthday could be like um, I was about to say, <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. So my birthday could be like March 1st. Listen, my birthday is March 1st. So 3-1, it's like, you understand? So my birthday could be like February 29th. You are definitely um, unique, okay, and rare. The 29th is what I'm getting. February 29th, born on a leap year. You, Some of you guys could be done and with the journal. I'm Every, every time I get this journal card, I get, um, G Gemini, Virgo, and Libra because that's 29 breaks down to 11. Okay, and you have make an altar. What am I? I'm telling you, it's a lot of writing that's going on. Look what we have intuition at the bottom. Intuition, I'm telling you, you guys are definitely evolving. Okay, your spiritual side is getting bigger, you're getting more evolved. I see some of you guys creating something, um, spiritual like, um. I don't know if some of you guys could be like making your own tarot cards. Um, 
I see someone writing recipes down. Some of you guys could also be making like perfumes, you know, making your own sense of perfumes or something like that. Your own smells, your own therapy, mixing, infusing and stuff like that. So yeah, you definitely abundance planning. You guys are, you guys on a new journey, okay? And I'm gonna tell you right now, after every journey ends, the new ones, a new one begins. Your third eye is opening, okay? Your crown chakra is opening. Some of you guys are really centered right now, okay? Really centered. 28, some of you guys could be 28 years old. Um, 28, 82 could be significant. 10 could be significant. 1 can be significant. But it is about, at the end of the day, it's about that new beginning after closing something out, letting something go, letting bygones be bygones. And I don't mean like bygones, just bygones. I mean like leaving the past in the past is what I mean when I say bygones be bygones. Like it, it happened, it's gone. You know, you guys are definitely learning to let go more easier. I feel that energy very strongly, you know. <laughs> I don't know who sing this song, but if you guys ever seen the movie Sing, The Elephant, I forgot her name, but she sing that song. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing, mama. Cause I be all alone. I feel like, um, I don't know who sing that. You, If you guys know, you let me know down below in the, in the comments. But I don't really know who sing that. Right, but spirit is want, wants you to know do not worry, you don't have to worry about nothing, you don't have to worry about the future, they have you. All you have to do is worry about yourself and keep moving forward and keep evolving and keep planning what you're planning, but do not overwork yourself, do not overstress yourself, do not overthink yourself because sometimes you can um backtrack yourself, you know, putting so much on yourself. And they want you to know that they have you and they got you. And they're going to make sure that you get what you deserve in this life. And I know some people feel like, oh, we don't deserve, you know, like nothing is rightfully yours. No, there are things that are rightfully yours spiritually. And they manifest physically because they're rightfully yours. You just worry about you. Don't worry about nobody else because sometimes that can block your blessings. Be careful about who you have around you and keep working on what you're working on because you got this. You got this. Even if you feel like you're alone, you got this. Okay? It's lonely at the top. Don't ever get that twisted. It's always going to be lonely at the top because everyone cannot bask in what you're going to be basking in. They're going to wish they was there with you. Where they didn't, they wasn't there for you, and they let you go through all of this by yourself. They're gonna wish they was here with you when you get to the top. I'm telling you. All right. <laughs> I don't know. That just came out. Now listen. I appreciate you guys. Don't worry. I'm back. I got my energy back. I just needed to. You know, sometimes when you're writing papers, and I'm writing no short papers. These papers is long okay it happens but i know now what i have how i can make it easier for myself and it's not about taking a shortcut it's just that doing little by little ahead of time because i'm a procrastinator instead of waiting towards the end all right <laughs> Thank you for being here with your girl Mucho. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Mucho much. See you next time.